everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I am always on the hunt for great cards. And here I am back at Card Wolf Central, no longer on the East Coast, and back to uh, my usual lair where I can uh, broadcast more normally. I uh, need to start off the uh, broadcast today. You can see I found some OPG uh, hockey cards while I was in Baltimore. I found these at a Target that we stopped at to pick up some things, and I was very happy because I've been looking forward to opening some of these and haven't been able to find them around here. We don't have targets around Cardwolf Central, but they, uh, there was a target in Baltimore we stopped at. So uh, got to start off the broadcast, though, by apologizing for how neglectful I have been uh, over the last week while I was traveling. I was uh, on the East Coast, as you guys know, and then uh, we just flew back and got in late last night. Now we are back here. And uh, I will get back to doing videos more regularly. I have been neglectful in not not only in doing videos, which uh, I apologize for, but even worse, I've been neglectful in watching and uh, commenting on your videos, which I really, really quite genuinely feel bad about because it's not like I don't like watching your videos. I, I love watching your videos. You guys have awesome channels and, and quite a few of you. I mean, I, I really look forward to watching your stuff when it comes out. So I've actually really missed doing that, and I feel quite honestly bad about it because uh, I want to support your channels, and I want to watch what you're doing, and I, I really enjoy seeing uh, the stuff you open and the stuff you talk about. So uh really have to apologize for that, and um, I'm very sorry about all of that. Uh, it was very difficult to actually get anything YouTube-ish done while I was uh, in Baltimore, partially because it was hard to set up anything. My... I, I, a couple of times ago when I visited my mom's house with my wife, we realized that the lighting in my mom's house is terrible. There's no overhead lighting. It's all lamps and things like that. And so the lighting is just awful. And my wife is uh, utterly convinced that that's why I have such bad vision. Because growing up in that house, I, I was, you know, must have been squinting all the time. And I'm a voracious reader, so I was always reading and... So uh, she's sure that's why I have bad vision, and she's probably right. Uh, every time I go back there, I kind of forget that that's what's going to be like. And uh, we went back there, and the just wasn't a lot of great places for me to set up to do videos. I set up at the kitchen table a couple of times, and that went all right. But uh, I couldn't leave my setup there, obviously. And I was very, very busy uh, packing up stuff and helping my mom clear out a bunch of stuff from there. And uh, I got a storage cube that I am having shipped here to... Uh, my uh, address here at Cardwolf Central, and that will be arriving in about a week or so. And I filled it up with a whole bunch of my stuff, and I helped my mom clear out a bunch of other stuff from uh, areas that uh, had really accumulated a lot of stuff. And I made a pretty good dent, but there's still uh, a lot to be done there. I got most of my stuff out of there, and that will be arriving here. And I honestly didn't go through all that much of it. I mean, I went through it to the extent that I decided keep or not keep, and I uh, did not go through it to the extent that I thought, oh, okay, well, let's go through, you know, these boxes of trading cards and see what's actually in here. It was more like, oh, this is a box of trading cards. I know I'm going to keep that. And so when that stuff arrives and uh, I actually take it out of the cube and start uh, packing it uh, into the house here and, you know, the other storage areas that I have around here and the, you know, downstairs and whatnot, then uh, I will go through it, and I suspect I will have some more interesting stuff to show you guys on the channel when that happens. But that won't be for another week or a week and a half or so. It kind of varies, and they haven't let me know exactly what day that's going to get here. But I've used them before when I've moved, and they're very good and very reliable. And uh, looking forward to getting my stuff back here at Cardwolf Central and showing you some of the uh, interesting stuff that I found. And... Don't worry, I did pack that box of 3D baseball cards, so there will be more of those on the channel, and maybe maybe a week or a week or two before that happens. But definitely going to have more of those on the channel, and I may even send out a couple of packs of those uh, for you guys to open on on your channels or in the privacy of your own home, so you can experience the horror of those cards firsthand because they are uh, there's some weird cards. Um, but anyway, again, I want to apologize for being kind of uh, an absentee YouTuber for the last week or so, and I am going to make it up to you guys. I figured out a great way to make it up to you. When I came back, there were some packages waiting for me here that had uh, been delivered while I was in Baltimore, and my wife had uh, put them in uh, my room here. And uh, so I started, I sat down in my office uh, this morning and started going through those here, and uh, 
One of them was a small collection that I bought, a little binder collection uh, that is just packed uh, with uh, Hall of Famers. I haven't opened it up, but I went, as soon as I saw the package, I knew what it was, and I have not opened the box yet. But I know that's what it is. It's the only thing I bought that would be of that size uh, in the last, you know, few weeks. And uh, so I'm going to open that up with you guys in the next video. I'm going to do a collection break with that in the next video. And I'm just going to give them away. I'm going to give away the cards from that collection. It's a lot of Hall of Famers, a lot of uh, rookie card stuff from the 80s and 90s. And I'm just going to give those away. We're going to open it up together. We're going to go through it. And uh, you guys can uh, let me know. Each one of you can let me know a few cards that you'd be interested in. Give me a few to choose from. So in case there is a lot of duplication, I can kind of figure out something that you would enjoy. And I'll pop a card in the mail, or at least, at least one card, maybe more, in the mail to... Uh, each one of you who wants to participate. So that'll be in the next video. There will be a giveaway, not a contest, where only one person wins, but a giveaway where anybody who wants to participate who is a subscriber to the channel and who comments on the next video I do when I open that collection, you will uh, get at least a card and, and maybe more. It depends. There's a lot of good stuff in there, I said, from the 80s and 90s, and I think you will uh, certainly find something in there that you like. I did not see all the pages in the binder in the listing that I, I bought it from, but saw many of the pages, and I, I know it's a pretty good mix of stuff. So uh, that's something you can look forward to in the next video, and it's my way of sort of making up for the fact that I have not been available to make videos and have not been available to really comment on your videos or watch them, unfortunately, which, you know, I feel very bad about, and I also feel like I'm missing out. I just feel like I'm, you know, wasn't seeing what was happening with you guys, and that makes me feel uh, like I missed out on some stuff. So, uh, you know, let me know if uh, there's something you really want me to see, because I'm not going to be able to go back and watch all of that, and I, you know, probably pick and choose, and I'm afraid I may miss something. So please feel free to let me know if there's, you know, something you really want me to see, and I will definitely make time to see it. And I'm really looking forward to doing that, honestly. So one thing I did bring back with me is another satellite I found while I was going through my uh, collection. And we'll get this camera to focus on this one so that uh, I can put it aside. There it is. Another satellite that I can add to my telecommunications network, which functioned perfectly while I was on the East Coast. The uh, problem with the broadcasting was not in the satellites. It was with me not having enough time to really devote to that, taking care of my five-year-old and taking care of my mom. She, uh, You guys know I'm pretty aged myself, and though my mom had me when she was very young, uh, she's, you know, also up there in years, so I was making dinners and doing a lot of stuff around the house and helping her clear some things out, so I just didn't have time for the channel, but I did find this satellite amongst my stuff. This is an old Brook Bond tea card. I did used to collect tobacco cards and tea cards of uh, non-sport stuff, and I still have some, but most of those I sold quite a while ago, but I did come across this one and I was pretty happy about it because I don't have this one and I can add it to my array. This is an old French satellite from, uh, I think, the 1960s. It's called the Asterix, just like the old uh, Viking comic book character some of you will remember. The Asterix satellite is going to go ahead and be added to uh, the network here. I'm going to put that right in front of the, the Death Star. And, uh, you know, the friendly satellite and the Death Star balance each other out. Now we've got the Asterix and uh, the uh, Skylab as well. So I'm really filling the sky with Cardwolf satellites. And uh, we'll be able to do all kinds of uh, great broadcasting, not just to Earth, but to outer space and beyond even our galaxy with uh, that array, I'm quite sure. And I'm looking forward to it. So let's open this. It's been a while since I've opened any product, and I've been... Really looking forward to opening some uh, OPG hockey this year because I have liked what I've seen. You can see this blaster box has an exclusive yellow border parallel. Looking forward to that. That is a tall boy, and I don't, I don't think I have any tall boys from this year, so that should be a lot of fun. Also, four base set retro variation cards per box. You guys know I like the retro cards, so that should be a lot of fun, too. I don't really bother with the odds because, uh, like Han Solo, don't tell me the odds. Never tell me the odds. I don't want to know. doesn't matter to me. All right, let's get uh, Mr. Kershaw out and get into this thing. As always, please practice good knife safety and put these blades out of the reach of small children. And uh, let's see what we have in here. It says we have uh, eight cards per pack and nine packs Per box, but also that there is a bonus pack. So I don't mean I don't know if that's included in the nine or if there are actually ten packs. But we will soon 
find out what we have in here. Looks like uh, two, four, six, and nine. So the bonus pack is included among the nine in this uh, OPG box. And uh, well, they, they had these three separated out. I don't know why, but we'll go ahead and put those last. I don't know what difference that's going to make. We'll see how it does. And we'll get into this first pack. The first time on the channel we've opened this year's OPG Hockey, and I'm really excited about it. This is Kevin Lankinen from the Blackhawks. Beautiful checklist card there. Uh, there's Dylan Strom. That's a pretty nice card, too. Uh, and there's the tall boy right in the first pack. How about that? I don't think you get more than one in a blaster box. I think you just get the one, and that's a rookie update one. That's pretty nice. I like the looks of that one. We'll definitely put that in the uh, wolf layer over there. That's a pretty nice one to find. Scott Mayfield. That's a pretty good one, too. I don't mind finding that. Carl Grundstrom and Condre Miller. Charlie Coyle. Not too bad. Not too bad. I do like the uh, the inserts there. I mean, these inserts, I think, are a lot better. You know, that, that's a pretty card, I think. That's a, that's a nice design, a very pretty card. I think these are a lot better than the inserts that I've seen come out of the upper deck boxes, and they're better than the... Uh, the inserts that I saw come out of that MVP hockey blaster box that I opened on the channel not too long ago, if you guys remember that. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the uh, second pack. We start off with Alex Kerfoot, Chandler Stevenson from the Knights, Anze Kopitar, Alex Nedeljovic, and a nice sideways one. This is a season review for Pia Sutter from the Blackhawks, Patrick Marlowe, Jaden Schwartz and Igor Chesterkin from the Rangers. Not too bad. Hoping for some uh, nice rookie cards out of here, of course, and also for some cool inserts. There are a lot of inserts in uh, OPG this year from what I have seen on the uh, channels of others. Tyler Seguin starts us off from the stars, and he is yelling ferociously at somebody across the ice there. Or maybe he's in pain. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with Tyler there. Alex Tuck from the Knights. Team checklist from the Capitals. Nice uh, Capitals logo there. There's a Nils Hoglander. Nice insert. I like that one. And there's a blue border one. Jane Koikinen from the Devils. Pretty nice blue border card there. Tyler Myers from the Canucks. Zach Wierenski. And Dino Chara. All right, making our way through this blaster box of uh, OPC. And uh, also wanted to uh, say welcome to the baseball season. I know uh, baseball season is starting uh, pretty much now. I believe it started this weekend, so that's very exciting to me. We're going to put some of those games on today now that uh, we are back here at Cardwolf HQ and uh, able to watch some of that stuff. Warren Fogel starts us off from the Hurricanes. Cody Eakin. Oh, they're okay. I didn't realize that you could get more than one of these tall boys in the blaster box, so I feel pretty good about that. Nikita Kucherov from the Lightning. That's not a bad one. Happy to get that, and that will certainly go in the Wolf Lair. I really like those cards for some reason. I'm not really sure why. There's just something about them. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I like the retro feel of them, I guess. Kevin Shattenkirk, Claude Giraud from the Flyers, Jack Hughes. And Radek Faska from the Stars. Rasmus Dahlin from the Sabres. Not too bad there. And here we go. After this next pack. Jordan Eberle from the Islanders. Andrew Cogliano from the Stars. There's a marquee rookie of Callan Addison from the Minnesota Wild. Not a guy that I'm particularly familiar with, i got to tell you. But uh, still, nice to get a... Marquee rookie card. Another marquee rookie card there, right after Wade Allison. That's a little bit better. Not too, uh, not too sure what the difference is with these, honestly. Maybe one of you guys can explain in the comments uh, which one... It, it seems like they're saying the same thing, so I'm not really quite sure what's going on there, but maybe you guys can explain. Ryan Ellis from the Predators, Justin Hall, Nick Suzuki, and Sergei Bobrovsky from the Panthers. All right, so we pulled some rookies out of that one. That was a pretty good pack. We have, uh, I feel like we have not got too many uh, rookies yet. We still have, uh, this is still four packs to go. And Mackenzie Blackwood starts us off for the Devils. Clayton Keller. Nils Huglander. Eric Hola. Andre Vasilevsky. That's a league leader card. 
31 wins. Jason Robertson from the Stars, Artemi Panar Panarin from the Rangers, and Milan Lucic from the Flames. All right, not doing too bad with the names either. I thought I'd stumble a lot more over the names than I am, but I have been following hockey this year, and I am more familiar with the players, so I think that's helping Luke Kunin from the Predators. TJ Brody, and there's an Alex Goligoski from uh, the Coyotes. I do like the design on those. Oh, there's another tall boy. Very nice. Quinn Hughes from the Canucks. That's a nice one. Really enjoying those. Mark Giordano from the Flames. Darnell Nurse from the Oilers. Kevin Hayes and Chris Letang. All right, we've got two packs left, so let's go ahead and get into this one here. Open this one, and then we'll have only one more after that, so hopefully we get some, some more rookie goodness out of at least one of these packs. Start off with Nick Ritchie, Michael Matheson. There's another rookie for us, Wyatt Kalinuk from the Blackhawks. And there is a non-yellow border Tallboy car, card of Sebastian Aho, who I actually like a lot. I think he's a really great player, so I'm really excited to get that. I don't know what the significance is of this one not being yellow border. I don't know. I assume that is rarer, but I honestly do not know. But uh, definitely, he is a player that I collect, and I'm happy to get uh, that one. That's probably the best pull of the box for me, I think. Clyde Clifford, Brandon Hagel. Robert Thomas and Nick Cousins from the Predators. And one last pack to close out this blaster for us here on the uh, back to Cardwolf Central edition of the show today. Patrick Kane starts off this pack. Elias Lindholm. Patrick Marlowe, another season highlights card there. Most games played. Patrick Marlowe. Nice Philip Denault card there. A blue border card, another one of these, Condre Miller. And Steven Stomkos, Thomas Nosek, and TJ Oshi from the Capitals. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, nothing super exciting that I'm aware of. You guys can certainly tell me. I know many of you know more about uh, hockey than I do and will recognize uh, some star power that I may not. But uh, I think uh, I think the white border tall boy is maybe the best one, although this is a rookie update, so maybe that's better than I think it is. But uh, there's, there's the box for us today. I feel like we did okay, but again, nothing too sensational. Still, I had a great time opening these and have been wanting to get into some uh, OPC hockey this year and hadn't been able to. So uh, that was a lot of fun for me. And I'm really happy to be back at Cardwolf Central and we'll be back to a normal schedule and back to commenting on your videos as well, which as I have said, I, I really have missed quite a bit. I miss you guys, and I miss being able to, to do the channel in the way that I want to. But we're back now, and uh, things should go a little more smoothly. Stay tuned to the uh, Cardwolf Network, because the next video I do, I will be giving away cards from a collection that I have not looked at yet. We will open the collection together, and any of the cards in it will be up for grabs. All you guys will have to do is be subscribers and uh, leave a comment about... Uh, what you want, and I'll comment back with my email address, and we'll work out uh, where I can mail your card or cards to out of this uh, pretty nice-looking collection that I picked up. I bought it uh, probably about uh, two and a half, three weeks ago, and it arrived while I was away in Baltimore, and uh, looking forward to opening it and seeing exactly what's in there. I saw maybe about three-quarters of the pages from what uh, the listing said, so I'd be curious to see what's on those other pages, and I uh, hope to see you then. In the meantime, as always, happy collecting.